Are you searching for all the satisfaction of cutting grass without the disastrous effects of hay fever and sunburn? Do you aspire to be a lawnmower man without that pesky Pierce Brosnan doing weird experiments on you? Well, you're in luck, because Grass Cutter's Mutated Lawns is mowing its way to the Nintendo eShop. But the big question we should ask is, is this a game we should save to your collection or delete from your memory? I'm Dave from Save Decks. This review was written by both myself and Sophie. And a big thank you to Sometimes You for supplying us with a review copy. Grass Cutters Mutated Lawns is a reaction based puzzle game where you move about the stage cutting grass. But it's not as simple as that. It is bloody hard. But how can it be bloody hard, I hear you all cry? Well, it is exactly what it says on the tin. Mutated. But before we get to all that, the first few levels act as tutorials on what hazards you might have to avoid, such as mud, water and plenty more. After this, a cutscene plays where lab technicians are testing a formula on grass and they start to grow. The scene then cuts to a person spreading the formula onto a lawn and the mutated grass beings arise. After this, they get added to the levels, and they get more and more tricky to avoid. You navigate your way across the lawns, avoiding, temporarily disabling, or destroying enemies such as the mutated grasses that run about, or robots that explode when you're in their sight, and more than that appear later in the game. There are sometimes boxes that need to be pushed onto switches or into water, they act as bridges to other areas, all the while you're cutting that grass. And the level doesn't beat until every single inch of that grass is cut. You can move the mower in four whole directions. They're spoiling you there. You can go up, down, left, and you'll never guess this, but right as well. You can use the analog stick or the d-pad if you're that way inclined. And as you progress, you can lay bombs or shoot enemies with your drone spike, who sometimes appears to have a bit of a filthy mouth. But wait, there is more! During the mowing, power-ups show up for a limited time, which can give you an extra hit point or a shield or different ammo. You can also collect cogs during the levels, and after you complete a level, depending on your performance, you get a 1-3 to three star rating and you can receive more cogs depending on how you did. These cogs can be used to buy customization for your mower, the best of the customizations being animals such as cows, rabbits, snails, or even unicorns. The best things about the animals is, instead of laying a mine, you lay... your poo. There is also an energy meter that runs down. This prevents you from hanging around in a safe area planning your next move, and keeps you involved in the action. You can also level up as you progress, getting things like extra hit points and other goodies that help you be the best damn mower you can be. The game is oddly satisfying and very addictive. You can get so annoyed at repeatedly failing the same level, but you never stop in your drive to beat it. Although the controls are simple to understand, it isn't easy to play due to the fact that you don't stop moving unless you collide with something, similar to Snake. So you have to keep on your toes and make sure you time your turns right as you zoom along that lawn. The loading times in this game are short, usually around 5 seconds, which is fine when loading a new level, but when you fail one for the umpteenth time and you're forever restarting, then these loading times seem to drag and all you want to do is try again quickly in such a fast paced game. There are also secret areas to discover in some levels, and a master mode if you really like a challenge. The art style is cubic. It sort of brings to mind games like Minecraft and Crossy Road. It's colourful and the level designs are quite nice to look at before you begin solely focusing on not driving into a body of water. The music circulates a few different songs which have different styles. They work well for the game and they make you feel pumped. These songs do come on at different volumes sometimes, so you'll have the TV on at a decent volume but suddenly the next song will start playing and it just blares out at you so you're having to turn the volume down. Overall, Grass Cutter Mutated Lawns is a simple game to pick up, but a difficult one to master. 
You can be stuck on the same level for an hour, getting slightly better at it and learning the enemy patterns. When you finally beat a level, it's a very satisfying feeling and you may be surprised that your clear time was around 1 minute 40 as the level felt so much longer. These short overall level times are a necessity as there are no checkpoints, so if you run out of hit points you start from the beginning. The game costs £6.29 but there is a pre-order sale down to £5.66. Even without the discount this game is a fair price and you'll definitely get your money's worth. So is this a save or delete? I would say it's definitely a save. It's an addictive game that gives you a big challenge. It is fun, frustrating, completely fair, but sometimes feels unfair, infuriating and satisfying all at once. So thank you for watching our review. Is it if this is a game you're interested in, let us know in the comments down below. If you like the video, give us a like and make sure you subscribe for plenty more videos to come in the future. So that's all from me today. Night night.